really weird critters in the Philippines to the discovery of a brand new solar system. This is Trending Tuesdays. Now, before we get into the list, we would like to thank our viewer Alejandro Granados, who writes, Hi, I'm from Peru. My nephews and I love your videos. They're really fun and awesome. Well, thank you very much, Alejandro. We always like the kind words, and we really do appreciate all that great subscriber support. Number seven, can't we get along? You've likely heard the term fighting like cats and dogs, but researchers have found evidence that cats and dogs can coexist peaceably with one another in the wild. Normally, big cats and wild dogs tend to give each other their respective space, as they'd likely kill each other otherwise. But in India, it seems they've found a way to get along with each other, at least in four nature reserves that were studied. Scientists used non-invasive cameras to study the habits of tigers, leopards, and Asian wild dogs called doles. While the three predators often compete for the same base prey, like deer, they were also shown to have developed adaptations that allowed them to coexist. If prey was plentiful, for example, dole wild dogs hunted during the day, while the big cats operated at night. In areas where prey was not abundant, the dogs would avoid the big cats, but the leopards would also avoid the tigers. Conservationists say that the animals' adaptations to different habitat types and hunting times will help efforts to save all three. Big birds. We all think penguins are cute, right? What if you encountered one the size of a human? Researchers in New Zealand have found a fossil that belongs to a penguin that measured nearly five feet tall. Not only is it one of the oldest penguin fossils ever discovered, it also suggests that the evolution of penguins began during the age of dinosaurs, much earlier than previously thought. But experts say the ancient animals would have had the familiar upright waddling gait of today's penguins. While this new discovery is impressive, it's not as big as the largest known penguin fossil. That critter lived in Antarctica up to 33 million years ago and could reach nearly six feet tall while weighing around 200 pounds. Philippines Phenomenon Oarfish are mysterious critters known for their bizarre appearance and for reaching lengths of anywhere from 30 to 50 feet long. They're normally found at depths of around 3,000 feet in the ocean, but recently they've begun to wash ashore in the Philippines, and it's making some locals wonder if their appearance does not predict the onset of earthquakes. There's a theory that the so-called sea serpents wash ashore when driven by the strong currents that can precede quakes. Recently, one of the creatures was found on a Philippine beach prior to a 6.3 magnitude earthquake that shook Mindanao Island. Some 200 injuries and eight deaths resulted from that occurrence. Days later, a 15-foot oarfish was found on a local beach. Shortly thereafter, seismologists warned that another strong quake could strike at any time. Officials later dismissed any connection between the appearance of the fish and the onset of earthquakes, but some experts do seem to accept the idea. For instance, Japanese seismologists are known to refer to the critters as, quote, messengers from the sea god's palace, end quote. Now, what do you think? Halloween Crack. Now that is a reference to a huge crack that appeared in the Antarctic ice in October of 2016. Since its appearance, the crack on the Brunt ice shelf has continued to lengthen at a rate of 200 meters a day and is now estimated at more than 100 miles long. Satellite images have revealed that the crack is wider in some areas than the Empire State Building and could be close to falling off the ice shelf to create a gigantic iceberg. Experts warn that that could leave the the entire shelf destabilized and contribute to a dramatic rise in sea levels. If such a calving event takes place, the resultant iceberg could have an area that is about the size of the state of Delaware at roughly 5,000 kilometers or more than 3,100 miles. Did you know that the largest iceberg recorded by satellites was estimated at 11,000 kilometers or over 6,800 miles, and that's about the size of Jamaica? 
Wonder Women. Now, this is not a story about superpowered Amazons, but it does concern some powerful women. The Chacoan people were ancestral Native Americans that occupied a great area of the southwestern U.S., but since they left behind no writings, researchers were unable to definitively identify their society. Now, thanks to extensive genetic analysis of bodies found in the burial chambers, experts have gained greater insight to the ancient society. It turns out that positions of leadership in the Chacoan society were based on matrilineal descent. That is, power was passed down from female to female. That was in power from around 800 to 1130 AD when the society apparently collapsed. The ancient people lived in grand multi-story buildings known as Great Houses, the largest of which was named Pueblo Benito and contained more than 800 rooms. Mystery Blob Wow, it seems like there's a lot of activity in the Philippines this week, doesn't it? Well, we just found another story, this one about a strange white creature that washed ashore a beach in the Dinagat Islands. And forgive me if I got that wrong, I tried. Anyway, pictures of it have already gone viral as people have flocked there to take selfies of it. The critter is huge and hairy, and is thought to have arrived on shore in the wake of a recent earthquake, which kind of sounds like the story with those oarfish. Guesses as to the creature's identity have ranged from it being a mutant Shizu to being a Globster, which is something we've featured on Crypto Fun Friday. Globster is a generic term that refers to an unidentified organic mass that washes onto the shore. Well, whatever this thing is, it measures about 20 feet long and weighs about 2,000 kilograms or over 4,400 pounds. What do you think it is? Do we have new neighbors? NASA made a major announcement recently concerning the discovery of an entire new solar system, or new to us anyway. An international research team using advanced telescopes in space found seven worlds that orbit a red dwarf star, which has been dubbed TRAPPIST-1. You might think of it as an equivalent to our sun. The seven worlds are thought to be around a billion years old, and experts theorize that all seven could contain liquid water, providing for a greater possibility of life developing there. But three planets in particular may have the best possibility of already sustaining life. Those three planets occupy an area where conditions are considered to be habitable. One planet is similar in size to Earth and receives approximately the same amount of light from the red dwarf star. But it could take a while to find out if anyone is at home on those planets. The newly found solar system is located around 29 light years from us, and that's over 200 trillion miles. In the meantime, scientists will use the relative proximity to confirm whether or not any of the worlds do in fact contain water and if conditions are benign enough to support life. This is Trending Tuesdays.